This is a video review of Best Stampede made by Toy Tribe and Kyoto. It's from the Trigon series again. Uh, he, this is the Black Sinister version, which is the limited version uh, that was released after the original. I bought this one because he is actually cheaper than the original version when I was looking for him. After I bought it, I feel so that it doesn't actually fit the character of Vast that well. And at the end, I end up decided to buy the original red version as well. So, this is one of the few things I ever actually got um, both, both um, repaint and the original version. Uh, there is quite a bit of difference between the two in terms of sculpt and color. One of the difference is that the original version actually doesn't have some gloves while the black sinister version does. The right arm on the original version is um is actually part of a coat while the black version is actually straps a bit similar to its left arm. And the other difference are on the accessories. Height wise he is a little bit taller than um than Nicholas D. Wolfwood of the same line. Let me just get him into the picture. He's a little bit a bit taller, not by a lot, but enough to just see a difference. Once again, to compare with um, other toy lines, um, he is a Busun Shinki at 1 to 12. And just for a bit of difference, he is a deluxe transformer. Quite a bit smaller than than him. So anyway, let's move on to the figure. The figure itself is very detailed, as you can see here. It looks like it's a complete. Uh, Completely black, but in reality there is a light. There is a lot of um, shading on it, as you can see under the light in the correct position. You can see that there is actually light blue um, shading to actually create a light highlight. There's a lot of detail on it. A lot of buttons. All of them are painted in bronze, uh, bronze gold. A silver strap at the bottom of the of the vest. Uh, brown detail for the straps, uh, silver detail for arm guard, elbow elbow guard, and oops, and kneecaps, and various bits and pieces. Um, the head scope is pretty good. A lot of detail on the hair, and pretty accurate uh, looking for for sunglasses. Um, articulation wise, he is a bit disappointing. That's why I actually don't really want to use the word action figure on him. The top half of the body is fine. The head does turn left and left and right, go up and down. There is again the, the joint in the body, um, therefore the arm can go in and out. The arm do do 360, and this time there is a joint so the arm can raise to horizontal. There is a, a elbow joint to 90 degrees. There is a swivel joint so you can turn 360. And once again, the arm are swappable hands, therefore they do turn 360. The left arm is where the uh, gimmick weapon is. If you look at the arm, pull it downward, and it reveals the machine gun. Simple gimmick, but it's quite. But it's glad that you glad that we glad that they actually make it, especially if you know the series. Same thing for the left arm, by the way. There is a waist joint, so you can turn left and right. Now here comes the disappointment: that leg doesn't go forward or backward, and there is no knee joint, so the leg can only go left and right like this. There is a joint, joint 
uh, above the knee, therefore it can actually turn, except the coat will cover it, so you can't actually see it. So there's not much point. And there is a joint on the on the ankle, ankle and it seems it probably is a ball joint, but a very restricted one, so that it can turn 360, and there is a lot of wiggle on it, a bit of wiggle on it, and it's not very useful because he has no knee joint or leg joint, hip joint, therefore he can't actually do any pose other than standing. You can stand straight, or you can stand a bit tilted. I think that's all you can do. Um, accessory wise, he comes with a very good stand. Once again, the stand in all the Dragon Line very detail. There is a uh, po a wonder poster with on the or on the normal version that it will be the poster of Vash. In here is a poster of another character that is also in the uh, Trigon figure line. And you can see that dangling here, there is a piece of wood, well, planks with a um, swiggle on it, which doesn't actually say anything. There is a chain with handcuffs so that your vash can actually stand here and be tied to the wonder poster. There you go. So he can't go anywhere. Or he can just drag it along. He does come with a gun. The gun is different to the, the uh, standard version. The standard version do not have this part of the blade. It's only got a gun. And Vaz does come with a uh, trigger holding right arm right hand so he can hold it like that as a gun or hold it in reverse and hold it as a knife. Mm -hmm. There we go. He does also come with a slightly more open um, trigger right arm which I haven't figured out what to use with it. There is the piece sign right hand. There's an open left hand. And there is also a can that summoned a certain somebody just shot up and with orangey goo coming out of it. I'm guessing it's tomato soup. Hopefully. And for extra, they also come with this. If you see the series, you will know who he is. He actually shows up in every single episode in the anime series. Mr. Black Cat or Cruel Neko Summer? Something like that. Anyway, he's a mask of the series, so it's good to have, have a representation of him. So, finally, would you. Is this guy worth it? I would say. Take it if you can find it one, if you can find it cheap, and two, if you are not actually looking for action figure. Although he is fine, he he can do a lot of poses and a lot of cool poses. All of them has to be standing, and it does end up being more like a um, like a static figure. With a bit of, with some option for you to to play around with instead of a real action figure. If you're looking for action figure, I think your best bet would be to look for uh, to wait for the Kyoto Revolted version that will be coming out this year. And I will see you next time in the next review.